news. Bad news is you lost a guard. Yeah, you know, we just continue to lose people, it seems now. You know, Jeff, uh, missing him, uh, it's really going to hurt us. He, he does a good job of pressuring the basketball, and and, and we're just going to miss him all, you know, all the way around, uh, you know, but... Uh, this is the time of the year where people battle. You know, you, you either have injuries or you, or you don't. And if you have them, you better be tough enough to uh, have some guys step up and play. And, and we did Thursday night at Dietrich. I thought Chris came in. Brooks played pretty good. You know, did a good job. And Whipke's going to start playing a little bit more. But sure, I'd like to have Jeff down the stretch, especially tournament time. But it's just one of those things. Well, defensively, Jeff added a lot because he was aggressive. He always gave 100 plus. Sure. On the floor, <coughs> uh, hard basketball player. Well, it was a you know it was a hustle. Play. Play. made a nice steal there and then went in for the and and I was kind of kidding with him most five seven five eight guys can't dunk so uh, maybe he just needed to lay that thing in but hey he's a competitor he got the steal went for it and uh, you know we'll have him back next year that's one thing at least he's not a senior that's any, good. any chance Kirk Lowry coming back this uh, last week I can see Kirk maybe playing Friday night and then have him for the regional hopefully that's good because uh, it's worked out reasonably well over the year where you've got some of these younger guys in the ball game. They've got some floor experience now, and uh, that's going to prove pretty valuable now on down the stretch. Sure, you'd like to have like an eight eight-man, nine-man rotation during the, during the tournament stretch. And, and we get uh, Lowry back, we will have. And, uh, you know, you just got you need bodies out there as, as hard as the game's played anymore. You just can't play with five kids. You need it, at least they're eight or nine, and, and hopefully we can get Kirk back in the rotation. I liked your uh, prediction the other night over at Newton when you said you're looking at that ball game as the first of four, and uh, you won the first one uh, on a great defensive effort, I thought, and a good team play by everybody that night. Well, the second half especially, our defense kind of turned it up a notch, especially the fourth quarter. Last eight minutes, we, we really played pretty good defense, and, and that's, you know, that's something I've been telling the kids. You know, we need to play four games over there, and it's going to be tough. I mean, uh, every game that tournament's tough, but... Uh, Hey, we, we, we got number one. We played, you know, Brandon had a nice game. Nick had a nice game. But Justin Hartrick uh, really did a good job taking some charges. And, and, and that's an intangible in the game anymore that gets overlooked. You know, people don't write about how many charges a guy gets during the game. But it's a, it's those little plays that, that win games. And those are some, some of the plays we didn't have against the Lawrencevilles and Paris and Mount Zion. Had them the other night and won. So hopefully we'll have more kids doing that. What do you look for in Ollie tonight? It's a non-conference ball game, but it's an important game to keep the momentum going and, and, of course, to play well. Sure. We played Ollie earlier in the up uh, Charleston. They beat us in overtime. We really struggled offensively that game. And shooting the ball from the perimeter, we did not make one perimeter shot until one minute to go in the fourth quarter. And uh, any time you do that, you're going to struggle. So hopefully we'll shoot the ball a little bit better. Uh, offensively, we've changed some things since December to now. And I think they might have a little harder time guarding us. But, uh, hey, they're a good team. They beat Floor last night, who Floor is one or two. Right, in the held NBC. them to 42 points. Held them to 42 points. Uh, they do a good job defensively, play a little 2-2-1 press, play a little half-court man and get after you. Uh, this is, hey, this is going to be a tough game for us. Uh, we just need to continue climbing that ladder and hopefully get another one on the road. We played pretty good in February, and that's what I just keep preaching to the kids. Our only success is kind of like yours to play well defensively sure. and uh, hold the opposition down and try and, to score enough points to win. And they're similar to us because they've played people tight. Uh, they've only won maybe seven or eight games, but they've been in the games with Effinghams, with the Lawrencevilles, Red Hill. Uh, you know, they never, no one ever blows them out. So that's a sign that they're just, they're right there on the line of Get, be, being able to win some of those games like we are. Uh, how are you going to work tonight? Then uh, give us a little preview of tonight's ball game and who you're going to start. Uh, we'll see, we'll go with uh, Tyson. He'll be handling the ball uh, a lot for us. Jason Young, Justin Hartrick, uh, Nick Brooks, and Brandon. Then you'll see Chris Brooks in the rotation at, out front. I like to be able to work Whipke in the rotation inside, and also you'll see Nick Shaner coming in for uh, for Brandon or Nick if they get in foul trouble or just need a breather. So looking at probably and Wade Scheimer, he can get in. They've got some pretty good guards in Harold Jones, and, and if they're hurting us, might use uh, Wade to, to face guard him a little bit. So you're looking at all nine soldiers on the bench might have a shot tonight. <laughs> well, uh, which is good. And uh, Wade Scheimer's a guy that can come in and add a, give you a little defensive spark. Uh, yeah, he, aggressive he, hey, he play. plays hard every day in practice. And, and, and he ha hasn't got a lot of varsity time. But I tell you what, his efforts always there in practice. And, and you know, uh, when you have a kid going that hard in practice, it's just going to challenge you and make you better. And when you're playing against him, you better go hard or he makes you look <laughs> bad. 
Coach, I really appreciate taking time before the ball game tonight. Good luck in tonight's ball game. We're looking forward okay. to it. It's going to be a dandy. Thanks for coming here. You bet. We're, we're going to be back with tonight's ball game here in just a second, so stay with us. Flowery. Jared Whipke's finally back. Get we back in out all year long. So uh, they've been short numbers, but uh, they're going tonight with uh, uh, Jason Young at one guard, number 23, the 5'9 senior. Tyson Snitker, the freshman, number 31, and 5'10, the freshman. Forwards, Justin Hartrick, number 33, a 6'1 junior. And Nick Brooks, number 44, a 6'3 freshman. And Brandon Hardeman, number 4, 6'3 junior. Coached by Mr. Gus Gillespie coming in tonight, 11 and 10 after three wins in a row. I mentioned the week coming with Paris and Effingham yeah. before the tournament, but that's, uh, that's a good way to get ready, I guess. Let's see, um, Charleston. Or Charleston and Effingham, yes. At the right place. Effingham will be at home. Charleston will be on up there next Tuesday night. We'll travel up the road. We'll see the Charleston Trojans. Only comes in with a record of eight and fourteen, and nobody on the roster over six foot one. I, well, I take that back. Six two, Chris Ritter. But uh, that's kind of been their history for the last 10, 12 years. They never seem to have any size. They play pretty good ball out front. But they do play defense, as I mentioned, holding Carmine to 34 points. Held uh, Flora, who has a reputation for putting points on the board, to 42 last night in a big win. So they go with Tyler Harrell, number four, 5'10", junior, at, at the guard spot. Number 33, Levi Jones, a 6'1", uh, junior. Forwards, Ted Hampton, number 23, a 6'1", senior, the only senior starting. And the other forward, Eric Reardon, number 34, 6'1", junior. And Chris Ritter, number 54, 6'2", junior in the middle. So they'll go with one senior and the four juniors, line up at 6'2", 6'1", 6'1", 6'1", 5'10". Coached by Mr. Rob Flanagan. This is his second year. I think he came from... Uh, I last coached at Carterville when they, when they put up some pretty good numbers a couple years ago. I think one of the regional went to the sectional maybe. Well, ladies, Crawford Memorial Hospital and Health Services wants to celebrate your birthday. Come in for a mammogram during your birthday month and you'll automatically be registered for a monthly birthday drawing. February's giveaway is a haircut and style courtesy of DA Style Center in Robinson. Crawford Memorial Hospital is certified by the FDA, the American College of Radiology, and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. For more information about mammograms or to set up an appointment, call 618-544-1234, extension 2226. Crawford Memorial Hospital and Health Services, working toward a healthier tomorrow. Three officials, Chris Long we recognize, the other two we've seen and can't, uh, can't place. So any uh, any criticisms we'll have, we'll just make it to Chris. <laughs> <laughs> make him responsible for everything. And uh, he's out of your picture down in the corner yeah. now, so you can't even see him. He'll be the redhead once in a while. Well, we're set to go. That'll be uh, Maroons controlling the tip-off. Snitker out front and Justin Hartwick over here on this side. All in a man defense. Jason Young puts up a three right off the bat, top of the arc at the rebound. Comes off to... Hampton and the Tigers will take it down. Snitker picks up Harrell front court. Now we're back over around the horn. That's Harrell again. We'll get him straightened out here in a minute. There's a three. Well, this may be a three shot nine. Back out front. Around on the wing is Hampton. Hampton again with it. Now Jones on this side. Harold drives a lane, puts up the shorter, no good. Rebound picked out there by Hardeman. Brandon takes it himself down court. Jason Young. Baseline drive. Gets in trouble. Bodies on the floor, and Harold comes out with it for the Tigers. Down in a hurry. Up off the glass. Oh, offensive foul. Eric Reardon took it in. Justin Hartrick took that charge. We Good talked first. about that before the ball game on Hartrick. He can uh, get position and knows where to go. Still no score. Jason Young handles it. Levi Jones picks him up at center court. Brooks out on top. Brandon Hardeman. And back to Nick Brooks. Nick puts up a 16-footer. Got it. 
First basket of the game for the Maroons. They lead it two to nothing. Nick Brooks gets credit for that. Tyler Harrell takes it down for the Tigers. Snitker on him. Almost lost it. No, uh, nice job inside by Levi Jones. He, he got away from everybody and put up a little short jumper. We're tied at two. He's Snitker. a junior, but he played a lot of balls as a freshman. He's got a lot of starts under his belt. Hardeman has it go in and out. Harrell with a rebound. Tigers come back. Hampton with the ball on the wing. Takes it to the center. Little jumper. Won't go. Nick Brooks with a rebound. Maroons. Justin Hartrick looks inside. Justin takes it inside, 15-footer, won't get it. Rebound by Ritter. Tigers take it back now. Harrell will bring it down. Tyler Harrell, give him a three. Tigers take the lead, 5-2. Jason Young with it out on the way. Hardiman puts up an 18-footer. Can't get it to fall. Rebound Harrell. Tigers down with it in a hurry. To Ritter. 10-footer. Got another one. Make it 7-2, and the Maroons want a timeout. They're taking a short one. I only lead 7-2. First Robinson Savings Bank. Happy to be sponsored tonight's ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine to serve you. And they've been serving Crawford County since 1883. 117 years of meeting the financial needs of our area. Well, quickly, 7-2 lead by the Tigers. Maroons haven't got anything to fall other than the first basket, however. The Tigers have been getting that rebound and getting it back down. And a 4-2 edge is still early. Snitker guarded by Harrell. Tyson gets it across the line. Harrell's right on him. Flipping around, going after. Look out, Tyson. Nice job. Tyson takes it down the right middle of the basket. Hey. That's the way to get him off. Snitker with the bucket, 7-4. Pretty heads up move for a young freshman. Tigers lead by three. Harrell with it. Tyson will get a chance to harass him a little bit. Good defense by the Robinson right now. Ritter has it on the outside, guarded by Hartrick. Uh, Jones takes it in, misses a shot, loose ball. We've got a, what do we got? Must be a Hardeman foul. Um, first foul for Maroons, first foul on Brandon Hardeman. Tigers will have it out under their own basket. Levi Jones will throw it in. Looks hard, gets it in right underneath. <laughs> Hampton on the turnaround gets it to fall. Ted Hampton got the bucket. He had to work for it. 9-4. All it leads. Snitker in the lane. Tries to get it to Hardeman. Loose ball picked up by Jason Young. Jason takes the baseline. Found a hole. Goes to the floor. Close that off pretty quick. Off of, must have been off of uh, uh, Hampton's foot. Got, they doubled him up real quick. And the Maroons, Justin Hartrick will bring it in out of bounds. Gives it to Hardeman. Brandon underneath, turn around, he traveled. Called a double dribble. Had trouble getting control of the ball on the pass in. And committed the turnover. It's 9-4, to four, only in front. Harrell brings the ball across the line. Maroons a man-to-man -man defense. Ritter, 15-footer, fadeaway. Comes up short, rebound Nick Brooks. Everybody left that time but the Maroons. <coughs> Jason Young. Hartrick gives to Nick Brooks. Nick takes it in the lane. In trouble. Hartrick bounces one to Hardeman. Five-footer, got the roll that time. Brandon Hardeman scores, it's 9-6. Maroons trail by three. Full court pressure by the Maroons. Got a loose man there. Ritter from 10, got it. 11-6, Tigers lead. We're in the first quarter with three minutes to go. 
Snitker across the line with Harrell. Bounces one. Nice pass to Hardeman. Got the shot. A little undecided as to who was holding who there on that little move. Yeah. Maroons trail by three. It's 11 to eight. Tigers lead. Jason Young's going to pick Harrell up this time, and Snitker switches off on Jones. Ritter's outside the arc. Back to Jones. Jones in the lane. Can't get it to roll. Ritter with a rebound, puts it back up and in. Chris Ritter, their 6-2 center, had good position that time. Look out. Oh, nice pass. Great steal. Harrell in the lane. Jason Young That's gets it move. back. Ritter can score. He had 19 last night as well as uh, Harrell. So. Ted Hampton made the steal as he went out of bounds. He flipped it behind his back over to Harrell on a nice play. Jason Young hustled down and broke up the basket, though, or broke up the attempt. And it's Ollie with the ball underneath their own basket. Chris Brooks in for the Maroons to place Jason Young. Knocked away by Nick. Picks up the loose ball. Good defense. Nick takes it down himself. Gives it over to Hartrick. Back out to Chris Brooks. Chris on the wing, guarded by Jones. Now Hartrick on top. We're right at two minutes to go in the first quarter. Maroons trail by six. Chris lobs it in to Hardiman. Brandon has his hands Boy, full. Crowded in there. Three all over him, and finally a jump ball, and the possession gives it over to the Olney Tigers. It's 13 to eight. Five-point deficit. I said six. I had a little trouble in my arithmetic. For the best deal in tires, go to Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Mitchell, Falls, and Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated, 400 East Main in Robinson, your complete car care center. Tigers will bring it in. Good pressure by the Maroons. Into the ball game is Brian Brandstetter. That's number 22 with the ball. Stolen by Snitker. Tyson takes it up and scores. Big bucket, 13-10. Maroons trail by three now with a minute 40 to go in the first quarter. That's Jones with it out front. Gives to uh, Brandstetter. And Jones again. McLenathan, number 44 in the ball game, got his hands on it there with Chris Brooks. Hartrick's got it now. Brandon Hardeman moves inside. Got away with one, I think. No, he didn't. didn't. They got him caught. End of the game for only number 44, Anthony McLenathan. And number 22 is Brian Brandstetter. That's Brandstetter with the ball, picked up by Snitker. Screen set by Jones. Brandstetter handles it out front, gives to Jones. Hampton looks inside. would like to go to McLenathan, Jones, and Ritter. Ritter, the biggest one on the floor, is on the outside now. McLenathan with the ball. Maroons play good defense here. Hampton on the drive in the lane, puts it up. And we got a blocking Black foul, foul call, Nick Brooks, I believe. Now, I'm not so sure here. Yeah. Well, I guess it was. They, uh, it was either he, 4 or 44. He says 44. I thought he walked before he got there. Anyway, Ted Hampton will be at the line. 13 to 10. Maroons trail by three. Hampton at the line for the Tigers. We got 52 seconds to go in the first quarter. Comes up short. Friday night, February 18th, the VFW Post 45-49 in Robinson's having karaoke by Blackie at 6 p.m. That's Friday night, February 18th, starting at 6. The VFW Post 45-49 in Robinson. Maroons with the ball, 45 seconds to go in the quarter. Snitker gets it across the timeline, double team, down to Nick Brooks. Nick, nice pass to Hardeman, but Hampton was there, knocked it out of bounds. Good defense by the Tigers. 14 to 10. Maroons trail by four. Chris Brooks will bring it in. Looks for help to Brandon Hardeman. Brandon a little jumper, got it. 14 to 12. Two point difference here. Maroons on the short end. Brandstetter handles it out front. Snitker all over him. Go get him, Tyson. And he forced the turnover. Brandon Hardeman picked up the loose ball, makes a spin move inside. They're, they're not going to give him that one in a 14 to 12 with 19 seconds to go. Back into the ball game comes Harrell. 
for the Tigers and uh, also back in is Eric Red. What's well, Tyson Snitker forced about three turnovers out front tonight so far? Done a good job. He stayed right on uh, Brandstetter. Quick hands. Quick hands. And Brandstetter was determined he was going to get by him, but he couldn't do it. Yeah. Under 10, all he's going for the last shot. They lead it 14 to 12. Hampton has to get rid of it. Fadeaway jumper, long rebound out. Brooks has got it. Time's going to run out. It'll count if it goes. Wow. Well, we played one. 14-12. Tigers lead it by two. It's tax filing season again, and the Kemper CPA group believes that in these times... Starters back in for the Maroons. Hartrick goes inside to Hardeman. Brandon gets around, can't get the roll on the rim. Rebound picked off by Harrell. Harrell down court. They've got a two-on-two -two situation. He still pulls up. Short jumper, no good. Rebound Hardeman to Hartrick. Look out. Justin pulls it up. Set the offense. Tyson sets the rhythm back to Hartrick. Needs some help. Tries to go to Hardeman. It's out of bounds. Last touch by um, Holly. That's Mr. Redden. And it'll be maroon ball. Jason Young will bring it in. To Hardeman. To Snitker. Tyson takes it in the lane. Short jumper. Doesn't get it. Rebound. Hardeman has it knocked away from him. Loose ball picked up by Redden. Tigers come back with it. Maroon's having a tough time on the boards. Long. There's a three-point attempt. Nice there Jones. Levi Jones for three. All of a sudden it's 17-12. Alney leads by five. Snitker across the line to Hartrick. Back to Tyson. Hardeman gives, now keeps it. Moves inside. Puts up a 15-footer and scores. Brandon Hardeman with a bucket. 17-14 now. Tigers by three. Hardeman with eight. Tyler Harrell will bring it down. Ritter picks it up on the wing. Young's got him. Ritter gets it back. And uh, Jones to Harrell. A long one by Jones. Won't go. Loose ball picked away. And I think we're going to get a foul that time on uh, Eric Redden on the rebound. Second team foul for Olney. Second foul on Eric Redden. Burns will bring it down. Jones on Jason Young. And Nick Brooks comes out to help. Nick Shaner in the ball game now for the Maroons. He'll be working down underneath. Chris Brooks also back in. Chris for the ball, now to Nick. Shaner takes it inside, kicks it back to Jason Young. Jason for three, doesn't get the bounce. Picked off by Ritter. Here come the Tigers, look out. Reardon in a crowd. They want to count it? He's going to count, count it. it. And Nick Shaner's going to be called for the foul. They count the bucket. That makes it 19 to four. And Reardon will go to the line for one. For the best deal in tires, go to Marathon Tire for Bridgestone Michelin Falls Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated, 400 East Main in Robinson, your complete car care center. He made a three-point play out of it. And now it's 20 to 14. Tigers with a six-point lead. Reardon goes out of the ball game. Who come in? McClenathan, number 44, Anthony McClenathan. Snitker. Gets it across the line, tries to go to Shaner and throws it away. Well, another turnover, and uh, the Tigers have another opportunity here. We've got 5.33 to go in the half, and it's only ball. Maroons with full court pressure now. Chris Brooks goes out of the game. Jason Young is in, and uh, Tigers have got it, and here comes Tyler Harrell to bring it down. Nick Brooks picks him up. He'll drop back now and Snitker will 
pick Harrell up out front. Hartrick on him now. Screen. Jones in the corner guarded by Hardiman. Goes inside to Ritter. Turn around 10-footer. Got it. Nice shot. 22 to 14 now. All of a sudden, uh, an eight-point lead. That's the biggest lead of the evening for the Tigers. Brandon Hardiman moves inside. Got the shot. 22-16. Harold brings it down. Hartrick back out to Ritter. Snicker comes and gets him. Now they come around Hampton now on the way. Gives it back to Jones. Jones takes it in the lane, puts up the shot, no good, rebound, Jason Young. Maroon's back in a hurry. Jason has it knocked away from him, and went out of bounds. Levi Jones got a hand on it, knocked it out of bounds. Maroons will keep it. Chris Brooks checks back in, and Jason goes out. 4.15 to go here in the first half. Tigers lead at 22-16. Chris Brooks. Makes a move, cross court, Justin Hartrick down in the corner to Nick Brooks. Puts one from behind the arc, won't go. Brandon Hardiman rebound. Hardiman on the spin, can't get it, comes up short. Chris Brooks right there, puts it back up and in. Nice job by Chris Brooks as he followed in the shot of Hardiman's. Put it back in, 22-14. Maroons pulled it within four. Hand on the ball by Brooks. Nick's got it, look out, Nick. Goes up, takes it off the glass, doesn't get it. That was a long layup. We've got uh, bodies on the floor. Brooks just got pushed down from behind. I think Harold uh, helped him a little. Timeout call by the Tigers. With 3.38 to go in a half, it's 22-18. Only leads it. A little rough down there for a little bit. Yeah. That's a short timeout. Jason Young checks back in the ball game. First Robinson Savings Bank's happy to be sponsoring tonight's ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine to serve you, and they've been serving Crawford County since 1883. That's 117 years of meeting the financial needs of our area. Well, I thought you were directing traffic now. Yeah. What you're doing, waving at the grandkids. I thought we'd break in a new voice on the mic tonight. <laughs> we can do that. But only one of the three showed up so far. <laughs> oh, we got a headset here. Put him to work. McClendon with the ball in the corner. Jones gets it back to Harold. Harold thought about it. Hampton. Good defense by the Maroons here. Chris Brooks almost got a hand on a Jones out. That's a try to give him three. I thought he was on the line. 25 to 18, seven point ball game now. Three minutes to go and a half. Maroons, Brandon Hardiman. Yeah, they had to call that. Got Harrell in the air. And uh, Hurd got the shot up, but it'll uh, go out of bounds. No, it's, well, <laughs> Brandon went to the line, but uh, they're giving it to him out of bounds. Back to Justin Hartrick. Justin handles it out front. Now to Jason Young. Jason comes back out with it to Hardiman. Brandon will put up a three. Comes up short. Rebound. Tipped around. Boys, you can't. Okay. McClendon recovered it for the Tigers that time. Hampton in the corner. Inside to Ritter. Cross court right in the hands of Nick Brooks. Nick easy. Nick takes it down. Puts it off the glass. Won't go. A little bit out of control. Look out. Whoops. That was Hampton on the steal. Justin Hartford chased him down, but Hampton scores. 27 to 18. Nine point lead. And uh, foul is gonna be called on Jones. His first, fourth team foul. We got a Maroon timeout here. And it's gonna be a, no, nope, short one. 2.10 to go here in a half, 27 to 18. 
tax filing season again. The Kemper CPA Group believes that in these times of complicated tax regulation, sound financial planning is the answer. Your Kemper CPA Group financial planning experts will assist and prepare your tax returns and financial reports in a professional, timely manner. Put Kemper CPA Group on your team. Two ten to go. Maroon's got it. Jason Young gives it to Chris Brooks. 27-18. Tigers lead. Chris to Jason Young to Nick Brooks. Nick thought about it. Puts up a 15-footer. Won't go. Hard rebound back in the hands of the Tigers. Hampton will take it down. Hampton takes it into the key and back out again. Now to Harrell. Back to Hampton. Inside. Harrell from the outside the arc. Ooh, close. Ha uh, Hardiman with the rebound. Brandon's got it again. Chris Brooks with it now. Guarded by Jones. Jones gets a hand on it, but Brandon gets it to Jason Young. Tigers play good defense. Whoops. Jason tries the baseline, has to bring it back out. Now to Chris Brooks. Chris got a hole, drives inside off the glass, got the roll. 27-20. A minute to go in the half. Maroons trail by seven. Tigers will probably kill some clock here. Hampton with it. Gives to McClendon. Back to Hampton. Harrell holds it out front. Nick Brooks on him. Now Jones. Robinson shows a 1-3 run zone right now. Jones comes out of Jones with the ball now. We're at 35 seconds. Nothing's going to happen for a little bit. We could not do a commercial here. <laughs> At least there's not three minutes to kill like we had the other night against Mount Zion. <laughs> Jones works the ball outside. Nick Brooks out there to meet him. We're under 15. Bells run their offense at about 10, and they're going to start right now. Hampton with the ball, double teamed in the corner, in trouble. Drop Jump ball, ball call. All right, good job by Chris Brooks. It's uh, still only possession now. Snitker comes in the ball game for Jason Young now. See if the Maroons make a little change defensively. 5.8 seconds to go here in the half. All they can do is go out deep. They give it to Hampton. He's in trouble. Loose ball picked up by McClendon. Gets the shot away. Won't go. Knocked down. No whistle. That one won't count. Well, we played a half. It's 27 to 20 in favor of the only Tigers. For the Maroons, they'll have possession. Snitker will be out there with Jason Young, Justin Harker, Hardiman, and, and Brooks. Hardiman's got it in the key. Turn around, 10 footer, got it. Good way to start. Brandon Hardiman breaks the ice here. 27-22. Maroons now a trail by five. For the Tigers, it looks like their original five back on the floor with Harrell out front with Hampton in the corner to uh, Redden. And that's Jones with it. And Ritter will be the big guy out in the corner. He's got it right now. Or that's Jones again. Where'd Ritter go? There he is over in the other corner. Harrell from 10 feet won't go. Rebound picked out by Brandon Hardiman. Reds. Big rebound here off the offensive board or defensive board. Jason Young. Hartrick to Nick Brooks. Back to Jason. Jason takes the baseline. Drive. Blocking foul well, is called. And uh, let's see what we do with this. Can't see who it is yet. Neither can Chris. Mr. Ritter was on Mr. the Ritter, his first. It's going to be out of bounds to the Maroons. 27-22. Only leads by five here. Second half just underway. Jason Young brings it into Snitker. Tyson back to Jason. Snitker again. Harrell's on him. Brandon Hardiman. Little short one-hander won't go. Rebound to Ritter. Tigers back in a hurry. So is the Maroons. Stops from behind the arc was Jones. Rebound Hardiman. Snitker will bring it down. 
Tyson drops it off to Hartrick. Justin into Hardiman. Now back out to Snook and Jason Young. Jason gives it up to Nick Brooks and uh, what happened here? Some pushing and shoving by uh, Mr. Jeff Reardon, I believe. Eric Reardon's third. Second team foul against the Tigers. Away from the ball, we'll have to watch that. Jason Young will bring it in. Come on, Jason. Got to do it in the five. And he did. Got to yeah. get it in. Well, good defense by the Tigers, but uh, oh, they we had no one had a timeout. Well, okay, that's sure whether it was before the five-second count or not. I we'll don't know. See. I think they gave the the uh, only coach is arguing a little bit on that, and I'm not sure. I assume they charged that to Robinson. Oh yeah, I had to. 27-22 is the score. 6-21 to go in a quarter. Is that a four or a half? Must be a four. Crawford Memorial Home Health Care Agency is conducting a foot clinic Tuesday, February 22nd at the Robinson Senior Citizen Center from 9 in the morning to 11 in the morning, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. A registered nurse from Crawford Memorial Home Care Agency will trim and file toenails, apply lotion, and assess feet for any abnormalities. The registered nurse will also instruct each client on proper foot care. The fee is only $15. To set up an appointment for the foot clinic, please call the Robinson Senior Citizen Center before the clinic starts on February 22nd. Give them a call at 544-8811. Crawford Memorial Home Health Agency, a tradition of caring. Maroon's got it back yeah. out of bounds. Got to the Jason time out Hill. before the turnover. Hardeman, boy, triple team Somebody hammered. Down. I saw two arms out there, and I'm not sure if it was Harrell or it must be Jones. Uh, Jones. Jones. Jones, 33. That's his second. Third team foul. And Maroon's uh, mm -hmm. will have it out of bounds again. Jason Young will bring it in, get it out to Tyson. There you go. Snitker guarded by Harrell. Only with three quick team fouls here. Young with it. We played two minutes into the half. Lob in to Hardeman. Brandon has to come back out with it. Good defense, boy. Snitker will go for three. Got it. Tyson Snitker for three. 27-25. Snitker with seven points. Boy, that one was a big one. That kind of boosts him a little bit, maybe. Tigers play good defense, and they they do it well. Harrell with the ball gives it to Redden. Jason Young will draw him. There's Jones out behind the arc. He puts up a three and gets it right back. 30 to 25. <clears throat> Almost, it is stolen by Harrell. Oh, blocked, blocked away by Snitker, and he's going to be called for the foul. Body contact, I guess, because he had his hand on the ball. So it's going to be two shots for Harrell at the line. First Tough break for Tyson. Yeah, first foul on Snitker, first team foul on the uh, Maroons. Nick Shaner getting ready to check into the ball game for the Maroons. Only up by five. And uh, Harrell gets one. Nick checks in for Nick Brooks. Nick's been pretty quiet tonight with only two points to show. Harold gets them both. It's 32 to 25. They're back to that seven point lead now. Full court pressure. Jason Young gets it across to Nick Shane. Nick gives it back to Snick. Jason Young, 10 footer. Foul. It's Harold. It's going to take it. Yeah, go ahead. A two shot foul. That's uh, foul number two on Harold. Fourth team foul. Jason Young to shoot two. Got to take it to the basket. Get those fouls. First Robinson Savings Banks happy to be sponsoring tonight's ball game with locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine. They've been serving Crawford County since 1883. 117 years of meeting the financial needs of our area. These are the first two free throws of the Maroons tonight. Now we got one out of two. 32 to 26, a six-point spread now. Tigers on, on top. Hardeman goes after Ritter. Ritter got a go with a step that time. Jones and uh, Jason Young all over him. 
Harrell with it now, and Snicker will take him on. <coughs> Redden and Hampton. Hampton with it out on the other wing. That's Snitker on him. And they give it back to Redden. Redden puts up a 10-footer. Won't go. Rebound. Hardiman. And it's going to have to go against uh, the Tigers, I believe, Redden, as he was over Hardiman's back. That's four on Redden. Chris Brooks and Nick Brooks check back into the game as uh, Nick Shaner and Jason Young will go out for the Maroons. And into the game is uh, Brian Branstetter for Redden. 32 to 26, Robinson trails it here with about 4.20 to go in the third quarter. Snitker will get it across the line. In trouble, knocked out of bounds by the Tigers, Levi Jones. <coughs> These Tigers get their hands on that ball a lot, don't they? Very tough defense. Chris Brooks. Cross court. Hartrick goes to Brandon Hardiman. Brandon, a little turnaround. One-hander gets it. Almost a hook shot. 32-28. Four-point spread now. Just under four minutes to go in the third quarter. Jones with the ball out front. Loose ball, picked up by Nick Brooks. Nick goes down, stops, 10-footer, won't go. Hard rebound back into the hands of Branstetter. Tries to go to uh, Hampton, and it's off the foot. Hartrick picks the ball up. Snitker works against Harrell. Hartrick into Brandon Hardiman. That other little hook shot again. This time it didn't go. Ritter with a rebound. Knocked away by Brandon Hardiman. Good hustle. In the middle. Nick Brooks off the glass and in. Two-point ball game now. 32-30. Guess who wants a timeout now? Tigers call it. Full or little. It's going to be a full. Well, it's tax filing season again, and the Kemper CPA Group believes that in these times of complicated tax regulations, sound financial planning is the answer. Your Kemper CPA Group financial planning experts will assist and prepare your tax returns and your financial reports in a professional, timely manner. Put Kemper CPA Group on your team. And for the best deal in tires, go to Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin, Falls, and Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated at 400 East Main in Robinson, your complete car care center. Well, Maroon's having to do some scratching in this one. It's a two-point ball game, 32 to 30. Only leads it. And it's, so far, everything they said it would be. It's been a defensive ball. Yeah, it has. Only two fouls away from Bitter Robinson in the bonus, which uh, may be a factor here. Moves come back out. They'll keep uh, Chris Brooks and Snitker at the guards. Brandon Hardiman, Nick Brooks, and Justin Hartrick up front. Holly Tigers with the ball. Jones will bring it in. In trouble. Gets it into Brandstetter and gives it back to Jones. Levi will bring it down. Nope. Tyler Harrell will do the honors. Tyson Snitker on him. Harrell and Snitker have really had a battle tonight. Hampton in the corner to Harrell again. Hartrick picks him up. Now they kick it back out to Branstetter. Here's Hampton for three. Off oh, the glass. Well, oh, he didn't call it. What do you think? Still giving three? <laughs> yeah, I guess you got to. 35-30. Nice pass down to Brandon Hardiman. Snitker saw him wide open under the basket and got the ball to him. Good job. 35-32. 16 points for Brandon Hardiman. It's averaging about 18, I think, something from that order. Harrell, short jumper off the glass, won't go. Nick Brooks with a rebound. Snitker will control it. Harrell comes after him. There's Chris Brooks. He thought about it. Goes against Ritter. Double teamed. Gets it back. Cross court. Justin Hartrick got a chance for three. Had a good look. Won't go. Nick Brooks high to get the rebound. Won't go. Right got yeah. it again. One more time, Nick. Still won't go. This time... Jones comes out of there 
with the rebound, and the blocking foul is going to be called against Chris Brooks. His first, only the second team foul. Jason Young getting ready to check back in for Maroons for Chris Brooks. Harrell with the ball. Snip crew will pick him up. Robinson playing man to man. Levi Jones for three. Buries him. 38-32. They've shot well for three pointers tonight. I don't know what they They only had a couple in last night's game, but they, they had three in the first half, and that's the third one in this half. Justin Hart to go go for three. He got one. Get him back. Got a boy. 38-35. We'll keep it as a three-point ball game here. Harold with the ball. Only by three. Hampton works against Nick Brooks. Now gives it up to Jones. Levi puts up a three. He got it. That's five of those men. Somebody put it on his face. 35, six-point lead by the Tigers with about a minute to go here in the third quarter. Snitker works against Harrell. Gets it across to Justin Harkett. Now Jason Young. Guarded by Brandstetter. Here's Harkett back to Snitker. Inside, Hardeman has it knocked away. Loose ball. Snitker gets a hand on it. Finally, Brandon Hardeman does. Gets it off the glass. No good. Still loose. Jones with it for the Tigers. Well, a big battle. And the Tigers win it. 35 seconds to go in the quarter. 41-35, Tigers lead. Hampton with the ball. Ritter. Hartford's got him, now Brandstetter. Maroons tighten up the defense. Hampton with it, Nick Brooks comes out to meet him. Now there's Harrell and Snitker to go at it again. We're gonna run some time off for 10 seconds. Gotta do something, guys. Five. Loose ball. Hampton puts up the 15-footer and buries it at the buzzer. Well, the quarter is going to end at 43-35. Man, the Tigers got every break in the book that quarter, I believe. Everything that was close to the rim fell in. What did they have? Three threes, I think. Four. Four threes. But they only outscored the Maroons 16 to 15 in the quarter, so Maroons yeah. held their own. Well, we'd like to remind you the Royal King supplies your winter weather headquarters for Carhartt Insulated Outerwear, Polar King by Key, a large selection of camouflage clothes, plus Northerner boots by service, and lacrosse insulated boots. That's all the Royal King supply on Route 33 east of Robinson. Next Friday night, coming up. Go to the VFW post, 45-49 in Robinson. They're having karaoke by Black. Starts at 6 o'clock. That's next Friday night starting at 6 p.m. at the VFW post, 45-49 in Robinson. Robinson Ford Chrysler's got a full line of Ford, Lincoln, Mercury, Dodge, Chrysler, and Plymouth products. You don't need a 911 sale to get a sale price from Robinson Ford Chrysler in Robinson. It's going to be only ball to start the fourth quarter. Harold's got it. Jason Young, Chris Brooks, Nick Brooks, Hardeman, and Hartrick on the floor for the Maroons as we start the final stanza. 43-35, only leads it. Brandstetter for three. Come off, no good. Out of bounds, Maroons will get it. He was about four feet behind the offense. Yeah, front. that was a deep one. Down to Brandon Hardeman. Brandon takes it inside, off the glass. Didn't get the shot, but he drew the foul. Brandon will go to the line to shoot a pair of them here. That's going to be Ted Hampton's first. Six team fouls. The Moon's going to get to shoot the rest of the game anyway. Brandon got one. Got them both. 43-37. Maroons trail by six. Jason Young draws Harrell this time. Brandstetter guarded by Harker. Now Jones. Jones for three. Comes up short. Loose ball. Pick it up. Gets someone. Nick Brooks has got it. He pulls up. Gives it up to Chris. 
Chris over to Justin Harker. Jason Young, just inside the arc, doesn't get it. Loose ball, picked out of there. Tied up by Harker. Oh, foul. Oh. On Ritter, uh, the foul's going to go against Hartrick. Ritter, I thought he had him tied up. It'll be our only ball. First foul on Hartrick, only the third team foul against the Maroons. So we've got three to give to stop the clock later in the game. Snitker back in the ball game for Jason Young. Stolen by Kevin Snitker. I said Kevin. Brandon can't get it to fall. Nick Brooks has got the rebound and he's fouled. Tyson Snitker. I don't know why I wouldn't call him Kevin. Because that's his dad's name. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got this foul. Well, we're going to have four. And uh, Nick, Nick's going to be at the line to shoot. Who's 40? Oh, okay, and that's uh, McClendon who just came in the ball again. Fight 44. Anthony McClendon just checked in. Time to get the foul. Out of the way, Nick. Well, as you said, these free throws may be big here as uh, the Maroons are being bonus from now on. 43-38. Missed that one. Rebound, Brandon Hardeman. Pulled it out of the air, put it up off the glass. 43-40. The Tigers by three. Out of bounds. Only keeps it. Chris Brooks giving Harold a hard time and thought that uh, he had forced Harold to lose it out of bounds, but it's still going to remain only ball. Watch Harold flying deep here. Here we go. They've got him cut off. Goes inside. Missed the shot. Right, a block foul. foul on Chris Brooks. Well, he, he didn't make the shot. That's a good thing. Yeah, you can see that one coming. Three-point ball game. Harold will be at the line now. Tyler Harold at the line for the Tigers. He gets one. The restaurant at the American Legion in Robinson's open on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights for dinner, Sundays for lunch. That's the American Legion, E.M. Colder Post 69 in Robinson. Got them both. Well, we're at 45-40 now. Maroons trail by five, a lot of time. Just under seven minutes to go in a ball game. Nick Brooks drives, loses the ball, picked up by Harold. Lead pass, lost by... McClendon gives back to Harold. McClendon gets it back. Nobody wanted it. Hot ball. Hampton's got it out on the arc now. McClendon to Harold. Hampton took two steps, got caught. Picked one up, and then the other one thought, whoops. Here Mr. Comes, Long got that. Here comes Jason Young for Chris Brooks and a maroon timeout. That's their third, so I have two remaining. Only with three remaining. I didn't see what he gave it. Beginning a little one. Must be. Hershey Chocolate and Robinson, proud to be a part of Crawford County. Pleased to support the students in the community and their youth activities. That's Hershey Chocolate and Robinson. Well, Hershey uh, also has some product down at the Dairy Queen. So meet me at DQ for a script, delicious DQ delights. That's right. The Robinson Dairy Queen's open again, and they're ready for their 40th season. So stop in and try their new S'more Galore Parfaits, or they've got three new blizzards out there. Georgia Mud Fudge, Yukon Cruncher, sounds like a wrestling match, doesn't it? And Whoppin' Wild. They've got a great Valentine's Day cake, so hurry. For special orders, you got to give them 24-hour notice. Only at your Robinson Dairy Queen yogurt store, now open for the 40th season. Forty-five to forty with six twenty to go in the ball game, and the Maroons are on the short end of that right now. They've got the ball. Tyson Snicker will bring it down, and Tyler Harrell picks him up. Those two have really been going at it tonight. Snicker works with him, drives to the basket, gives to Hartrick. Hartrick to three. Uh, not quite. Tip back up and in, no good. Nick Brooks with a rebound, works hard, can't get it to roll. They've had three shots, now four counter. And I don't know who put it up. Snitker, I believe. 
Smitker battling underneath there. Tipped the shot up. Drew the foul. He'll be at the line. Count the bucket. It's 45-42, and Tyson's got a chance to make a three-point play out of it and bring it within two points. And Reardon checks back in at the 558 mark. Gonna mark that down. He's got four fouls. Tyson Snitker won't go. Rebound fought for. Picked out of there by Ritter finally. Holly with the ball. Back on defense, guys. Reardon with the ball out front. Gives it to Harrell. 45-42, a three-point ball game with the Tigers in front. Ritter. Back out front to Jones, inside to Hampton nice. on a turnaround. Good move off the glass and Snicker with a rebound. Has it swiped away by Jones and he stepped out of bounds. <laughs> Say, got his pocket picked that yeah, time. Oh, but he was near it at the sidelines and Jones just stepped out of bounds with it. Tyson's got it now and Harold will come out and meet him. Tyson's done a good job tonight. Underneath to Brooks. Good job by Justin Hartrick. He saw Nick Brooks got the ball to him and Nick put it in. 35-44, one point ball game. Tigers up by one. Ruins. Oh man, that's got to be offense. Nope. No way. Uh, Hartrick was there and uh, was that Jones or uh, it was Jones with the ball. I <laughs> That's why I don't wear a striped shirt and blow a whistle. I don't know what I'm doing. It'll be only ball out of bounds. The Ritter will bring it in. The Redden will bring it in. Gets it to Hampton. Knocked loose. Picked up, though, by Harrell. And now we're back out with Redden, and Harrell will take control. Jones. Five minutes to go in the ball game. It's a one-point game. Tigers lead by one, 45-44. Harrell, stolen by Nick Brooks. That's Reardon that he went after. He got it. Is he calling that on the floor? I don't believe that. No, I think he counted it. That's number five on uh, Reardon. Nick will go to the line. So he lasted about a minute. A minute and 10 seconds. He was pointing down. Maybe he was giving the signal for the shot. <laughs> I thought he was pointing with fouls on the floor. I couldn't believe it. With that, the Maroons take a one-point lead, 46-45, with 4.49 to go in the ball game. McClendon comes in for Redden. A little surprise. Last night, his first man off the bench was a guy named Stein, and he hasn't uh, made see. an appearance. Brooks got the roll. Make it 47-45. Stop the clock to find the basketball. Maroons lead it 47-45 with 4.49 to go, and I don't remember when they've let it last. It's been a long time. I trying to look back and I go clear back into uh, that being the first quarter that being the first quarter and uh, since they I almost since they led two to nothing when they started the ball game this may be it Carroll with the ball Snipker on him Maroons in a man to man defense Carroll keeps the ball now Jones with it underneath goes McClendon trying to work against Nick Brooks that won't work Loose ball out of bounds. It's going to the Maroons. Levi Jones lost it. Timeout call by the Alley Bench. That's their third time out. Both coaches with two remaining. I think they're going to go with a full one. There is full. They're sitting down, so that's a full. With 4.24, the Maroons have a two-point lead now, 47-45. The first Robinson Savings Bank's happy to be sponsoring tonight's ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine to serve you, and they've been serving Crawford County since 1883. 117 years of meeting to the natural needs of our area. 
for the best deal in tires. Go to Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin, Falls, and Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated, 400 East Main and Robinson, your complete car care center. Cruising right along. All right. Played three and a half minutes in this fourth quarter. Maroons have outscored only 12 to 2 to take this two-point lead. Well, let's see. At the end of the third quarter, they were trailing by uh, eight, 43-35. So they had to come back. 424 to go in the ball game. It's going to be Maroons ball. Justin Hart will bring it in. Hartrick, uh, Chris Brooks, Tyson Snitker, Hardeman, and Nick Brooks on the floor for the Maroons. That's Snitker with the ball. Harold was going to work on it. Yeah. Into Brandon Hardeman. Brandon to the glass. Oh. Go, but he draws the foul. Wasn't much contact there, but he tried to flop. The second foul on Ritter, but that's a tenth team foul. So Maroons will be shooting two the rest of the way in the next four minutes and 14 seconds. Brandon Hardeman at the line. Foul one. He's three for three. Make it 49-45. Maroons lead by four. Harrell with the ball. Smith who draws him. Levi Jones for three. Off the rim, no good. Guess who? Tyson Snitker. He's got a couple of big rebounds tonight. Justin Hartrick. Whoops. In trouble, gets it to Hardeman. Back out front to Snitker. Nick Brooks works against Ritter. Chris Brooks goes in, puts up the short jumper, off the glass and in. Chris Brooks, big bucket, 51-45. Hampton, there it. Chris Brooks and Levi Jones match up here. That may be very important. Knocked away. Chris Brooks foul. Mm -hmm. Chris Brooks got the foul. It's his third, 16 foul. Only still not shooting. Maroons lead by six here with 3.18 to go in the ballgame. Jason Young back in for Chris Brooks. Chris gave him some good minutes. Six points. Jones will bring it in for the Tigers. Gets it to Hampton. Hampton makes a move back out to McClendon. McClendon takes it to the lane. Short jumper. Doesn't get it. Rebound put back up. They'll go, but it does. They're going to count it. I think that was Hampton on the basket. He'll go to the line. It looks like Nick Brooks with a foul. Nope, Jason Young. That's the first field goal of this quarter for the Tigers. Hampton comes up way short. Rebound Hartrick. 51-47. Hardiman in a crowd. Loses it to Levi Jones. Oh, Snitker almost got it back. That's Hampton with it now. So the Tigers take it down. We're under three minutes. Hampton to the lane. Drives. Kicks it off Ritter. Ten-footer. Won't go. Rebound. Hartrick. 51-47 Maroons lead. 16-7 rebound edge for the Maroons in this half. Snitker works against Harrell. Boy, they've gone at it. Knocked out of bounds by Harrell. Maroons will get it back. 2.35 to go in the ballgame. Another big win for the Maroons if they can keep going here and pull this out. They've, they have played well, and they're peeking out at the right time. Tournament time coming up in another week. Tyson Snitker right down the lane, a little one-hander. 53-47. Jones with it. Now Harrell to Hampton. Hampton drives the lane. In trouble in the lane. Ritter. Harrell works the baseline. Blocked away. There goes Hampton. Spin. Knocks away from Nick Brooks. Makes his own move. Back in the hands of Hampton. Now knocked away and Justin Hartrick picks up the loose ball. We're under two minutes. 
Maroons up by six, 53-47. Hartrick runs some clock. Brandon Hardeman in the lane. Now we're starting to get concerned. Yeah. Brandon will be at the line to shoot two. A minute 41 to go in the ball game. Third foul on Tyler Harrell. Hardeman's four for four. Yeah. Got 22 points so far tonight. Four for five. Make it five for six. Yeah. No. Missed them both. Rebound to Hampton. A minute 39. Her uh, McClendon in the lane. Bounces off Hardeman now. Come on. Second foul on Hardeman, seventh team foul. Good move by McClendon as he drew the foul off Hardeman. That's when you go in, you you initiate the contact. That's what you got to learn how to do. McClendon's just a sophomore. He had a brother that was a pretty good basketball player, and he missed the shot. Still remains 53-47 with 1:34 to go in the ball game. Got that one to roll in, make it 53-48. Hartrick by himself. Now Ritter comes out to meet him. Chris Brooks. This double team foul by McClendon. And Chris will go to the line. A minute 25 to go. Need to make these free throws down the stretch here, and this will keep the Maroons out of trouble. Don't forget Real King Supplies, your winter weather headquarters at Real King. You'll find clothing for the family. Blue jeans by Riders, Wrangler, Carhartt, and Dickey. Plus a large selection of camouflage clothing, insulated boots, and a whole lot more. That's a Real King Supply, Route 33 East to Robinson. Need one, Chris. Justin Tennyson checks in for the Tigers. Fifty-four forty-eight now, still six points spread. Maroons on top, a minute twenty. Harold guarded by Snitker, trying to get a loose underneath. Levi Jones will put up a three. Oh, he got, he got the roll. And the timeout. Well, fifty-one or fifty-four, fifty-one. That big three cut it. To a three-point ball game now with 1.10 to go. Whew. Okay, only with still a timeout remaining. Burns got one. Burns have two. A minute 10. Burns lead 54-51. They've got the ball. Tigers play good defense. Let's see. Into Snitker. Harrell will be on him. Tyson gets away. Double teamed across the line. Gets it to Chris Brooks on the floor. Chris wants a timeout. These only boys are quick, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Well, that's a full timeout called by the Maroons with a minute three to go. Okay. It's tax filing season again. The Kemper CPA Group believes that in these times of complicated tax regulations, sound financial planning is the answer. Your Kemper CPA Group financial planning experts will assist and prepare your tax returns and your financial reports in a professional, timely manner. So put Kemper CPA Group on your team. Let's see. Better keep some here for while you do your work. Yes. All right. A minute three to go. 54-51, Maroons lead by three. Don't anybody leave. Well, a minute three. Maroons with the ball. They also have the possession arrow. And one Hartical. time out left. Hartrick will bring it in. Gets it to Brandon Hardeman. Brandon guarded by Ritter. Now Hartrick, all over him. 
Wide open underneath. Chris Nick Brooks from Hartrick to Brooks for the basket. 56, 51. Jones for three. Won't go. Rebound. Tyson Snitker. Boy, he's got some big ones down court to, to Nick and hammered from behind. It's and here's third. Nick Brooks is going to shoot two. Chris got the ball down court. Nick was cutting to the basket. Chris gave it to him and he was fouled behind. Nick will be at the line to shoot two. 56 51. 37.2 seconds on the clock. Doesn't get it. Need one here, guys. Break that three point spread here. Next got that one. 57 51 now. Six point difference, two possessions. Harold won't go. Rebound. Snicker was right there. No whistle. Brandon Hardeman shoved out of bounds, and the foul is going to be called with 25.9 seconds on the clock. And Joe or uh, McLennan, maybe. Nope, Jones. Jones. 25 seconds. Hardeman missed his last two free throw attempts. Not a lot of pressure now, a six point lead in 25 seconds. Got that one. Well, the Moons are going to make it four in a row. I think you're right. Got them both. 59 51. All they got to do is take care of it. Don't foul them. Let the clock run, guys. Hampton for three, won't go. Loose ball, picked up by Nick Brooks. Gets it out to Snitker. Snitker across the line. Clinton and Thousen from behind, 9.7. And Tyson will go to the line to shoot a couple free throws. 59-51. Maroons trailed. 43 to 35 at the end of the third quarter. Had a boy Tyson got one. And they are coming back to win it here in the fourth quarter. He rolls it in. Big buckets by Snitker. 4-3. Won't go. Rebound. Justin Hartley. Three seconds. Two seconds. They hold the ball and it's over. A 10-point win for the Robinson Maroons over the Only Tigers on the Only Tigers home floor, and that's a biggie for the Maroons.